annual Little Rock Marathon. Good evening, I am Justin Early. 10,000 people signed up to cross the finish line in the River Market, and that is where we find Fox 16's Catherine Johnson live with how runners are getting ready for the big day. It's a lot of preparation, Catherine. Lots of preparation, Justin. Right now, Little Rock Marathon runners are visualizing this finish line. They say the last few steps of the race are the driving force behind that 26-mile run. Everything about the race is big. And the rewards at the end are no exception. A medal of mythic proportions, because we are known for our finisher's medal for the marathon. It is the largest in the world. Each runner has a different motivation, bringing them through to that giant medal at the end. Beer. Beer's at the end. <laughs> but today is a day of rest and relaxation. Trying on new shoes at the Health and Fitness Expo is the most exercise these athletes will get until tomorrow. Organizers estimate four to seven million dollars is spent in the city during race weekend. Our race has grown since 2003, where we started at what, with about 2,500 participants to 10,000 plus this weekend. Dan Jolly and his daughter Lacey are running the marathon as a team. They say when you're beating your body up for 26 miles, family is the only thing that gets you through. <laughs> Tomorrow's race is Jolly's 60th marathon. The best advice he's ever given me, it was during my first one, he said, hey, it's supposed to hurt. And I was like, hey, that's right, so suck it up. But there's plenty of time for the no pain, no gain attitude tomorrow. These runners say, although the medal is a perk, it's all about the journey getting there. That's the real reward is that you've accomplished such a goal. We'll have much more on these super athletes from all around the globe coming up at 9.30, including how they're storing up on energy for tomorrow's big race. Live in Little Rock, Catherine Johnson, Fox 16 News. I can't believe it was Mr. Jolly's 60th marathon. That is Isn't amazing. That amazing? That's a lot of miles. I can't do the quick math, but that's a lot. Um, all right, so it takes a long time to finish these races, but what about last year's winner? How long did it take them to actually finish the whole marathon? Last year's winner finished the entire marathon in two hours and 29 minutes. He was a man from Texas. But, you know, that's not the time to beat. It's an accomplishment just to cross this finish line and get your hands on one of those giant medals, Justin. Those are big. All right, Catherine Johnson. All right, live in Little Rock. Captain, thanks. We'll check back in later. And so...